Rated M for Mature. The green terminal is being attacked. If you want to play double agent multiplayer aggressively, then assume the role of the mercenaries in the Upsilon forces. New players and Splinter Cell veterans alike will find plenty of combat variations, cool new maps, and interesting gadgets to toy around with. This section will give you an overview of the mercenary weapons, moves, gadgets, and some tips for play. The mercenaries play in the first person perspective. They must prevent the spies from infiltrating given areas of the map and completing objectives. Put simply, seek and destroy. The mercenary team will win a match when they have successfully defended all of the extraction points by either killing all the spies or allowing time to run out before two spy extractions transpire. Mercs are quite vulnerable to sneak attacks from stealthy spies, but they're also offensive powerhouses that can use their unified assault rifle, sniper rifle, grenade launcher to great success. Your detection gear has been changed from previous Splinter Cell titles. You no longer have laser sight or arrows that will show you where sound is coming from. Instead, your proximity detector tracks the radio and residual waves that spies emit. Three concentric circles track spy range, and heartbeats are heard when there are spies making sound. Your controller will vibrate when you sense a spy's presence, and you can track spy movement via the white outlines that appear after obtaining a clear visual. Slow-moving spies will not be outlined. A good mercenary relies on interpreting a combination of these systems and planning a defense. Mercs can sprint into and out of dangerous situations. In general, they should always keep moving to avoid getting killed by stealthy, experienced spies. Sprinting is great for long corridors, but tends to be less effective when rounding corners. Mercs can also hook themselves to ledges and repel off. The most unique skill at your disposal is a spin attack that can be initiated by clicking on the left thumbstick. After knocking your foe down, press A to finish them with a humiliating headbutt. This spin attack is critical for situations when spies pop up behind you. As a merc, one of the nastiest ways a spy can kill you is by grabbing you from behind and snapping your neck. If you've been spotted by a spy but aren't quite sure where he is, run to a wall and press your back up against it. The spies can now only approach you from the front. Even more effective is backing up into a corner. Either way, this approach should give the merc an easier shot. Mercenaries are an assault class. They have a sniper rifle for range, grenades to keep spies at bay, and the most often used assault rifle. They have infinite ammunition for their primary rifle, but you should still make every shot count. Secondary weapons, like grenades, can only be refilled at spawn points. Assault rifle rounds not only go through spies, they can also go through the ceiling. If you know a hacking spy is close, but can't find him on your level, you can try shooting around the vents and up into the ceiling. This should only be used as a last resort, as it may alert other spies to your location and may not register a kill. If you're having trouble locating hacking spies, use your EMF vision. This mode allows mercs to see when spies are using their electrical gear. Mercenaries cannot enter crawl spaces, hang from balconies, or do some of the agile maneuvers that spies can, but you can still use the shadows and darkness to your advantage. Play smart and keep your flashlight off until the fighting starts. Spies will very often be above you, tracking your every move. Skulk along in the shadows, and you might catch a spy in a trap. When chasing down spies, they will often duck into vents and out of sight into rafters. This is the perfect opportunity to send in a flying drone to go where you can. These dangerous little devices go into auto-destruction mode when spies are close. They should be used to block a spy's path and hopefully inflict serious damage. If possible, coordinate with a teammate to send in an additional drone, blocking another potential exit and leaving you with one less spy to tangle with. <laughs> 
Double Agent multiplayer also has a new ranking system. Once recruited for online play, players will work their way up the ranks, from recruit onto operative, field agent, special agent, officer, and commander, gaining access to new gadgets after leveling up. They will also unlock new skins, maps, and cooperative challenges. By executing various actions, such as performing agility moves, spies and mercs can gain experience. For example, since mercenary proximity detectors make it difficult to grab mercs from behind, successfully performing that action is a rewarding move. The more these moves are performed, the higher the rating. At the end of each game, statistics are calculated based on your actions in athletics, stealth, and gadgetry.